I came to Memphis uh, and I carried my grandchildren to the Fontaine House. And there were ladies there that were tour guides. And uh, as I left, one was telling me that she was a member of the DAR. And I said, well, now what is the DAR? And she said, uh, well, you have to have an ancestor that fought in the revolution. And I said to myself, that leaves me out. I became interested in genealogy when I watched the movie Roots. Of course, that was about Alex Haley, who uh, lived not far from here uh, in Henning, Tennessee. And so that began my desire and search for ancestors. We have offices that I've held. The ones that I'm most proud of are the, are the um, bars here. These are my uh, Revolutionary War Patriot ancestors that I have already proven my lineage to. There are others out there, but I've not been able to prove them yet. It's one of the most rewarding things that I've ever attended, not only for DAR, but for any civic organization. It's priceless to see the expressions of the new citizens when they are become Americans or U.S. citizens. Their American citizenship, you could tell, was important to them. And just by their expression on their face when they took the oath, you could just look at them and realize that uh, this was something that was very, very important to them. When the ceremony is over and the new citizens have done their oath of allegiance and pledged to our flag, and receive their certificates. Then we go out into the hallway and as each new citizen comes out into the hallway, we present them with a small American flag, a pocket copy of the U.S. Constitution, a copy of the U.S. Flag Code, and then we do commemorative bookmarks with the Pledge of Allegiance on the front and the date and the location on the back. Uh, this book says it all to me. Uh, the Star Spangled Banner, the um, Pledge of Allegiance, and what, I, what that means is, is what being an American means to me. It isn't just a ceremony and you leave, it's, you know, we are here to, to say uh, welcome to our country.